Hello and welcome to this short video clip on advanced surface extrudes with me, Mars Brony. I'm going to demonstrate here the advantages of overusing a surface extrude to cut away geometry in a model compared to using the actual cut extrude feature itself. Now, what I'm trying to do in this part is to select, take these two faces here and then cut in by three millimeters. To do this, because there's two surfaces here, because I'm trying to cut in by three millimeters, I have to do an offset from surface end condition. Now, to get both of these profiles done, it involves two cut extrude features. So the, the way you do this well, normally with the cut extrude tool, first I'd have to create a plane. After that, I'd have to create sketches so one sketch and then two sketch and then use if I just right click and edit one of these cut extrudes offset from surface end condition I'd have to select the face and then say select a 3mm um, offset and then that will give me the desired result as you noticed I've had to create two sketches, two cut extrude features and a plane to do this. There is a slightly easier way of doing it. So if I just roll these back, so I'm before I started working on it with those cut extrudes, and then I use, if I go onto the surfaces tab, and then go extruded surface, I can actually extrude our existing surfaces. So if I select these two surfaces here, and I'm going to have to tell it at the moment where I want to go. So I'm going to just leave it on a blind um, extrusion, and I'm going to put it for 3 mil because that's the distance I want to go inwards. I have to let it know which direction I want to go in. So if I just put it into this box here, which will allow me to select my direction, I can say normal to the right plane. At this point, it's giving me a preview. At the moment, my, my surface is going to be extruded outwards by 3mm. In this case, I'm going to flip it and go inwards by 3mm. Now, at that point, it's not actually moving the face. It's copying it to another location. So it's translating it inwards by 3mm. And what, my, what I want to end up with here is obviously with that slot cut out. So... What I can do is, once I've moved my surface in, is to bridge the gap between the surface I'm putting in and the original surface, so this one here. And to do that, I can cap the ends. That will fill the gap between the two, the two surfaces. And then I can delete the original surface and then knit the results. Knitting the results will say it will take my capped surfaces that it makes and the original uh, translated surface, the extruded surface that it's going to put in and merge them into one surface again making it a solid body. So if I go OK to this it may just take a little while and there we go. So as I said this is the uh, the surface or surfaces that have been extruded inwards. It's then capped the ends which are these surfaces here and then deleted the original face that was here to begin with and then merged it back into one solid body. Thanks for watching.